Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holdner and welcome to another episode of Speed Secrets. This episode is all about fuel flow. In addition to an XFI management system, an LSXR intake, and a big mouth throttle body, the guys over at FAST also offer fuel injectors in a wide variety of flow rates and sizes for different applications. So let's get things started and talk about what fuel injectors do and why they're important. Let's get things started and talk about how a fuel injector works. The fuel injector is actually part of a larger fuel system that includes the fuel pump, the regulator, and the injector. When the system is on, the fuel pump supplies fuel pressure to the injector. The amount of pressure supplied is determined by the fuel pressure regulator, although we can also control it electronically with the pump. When the system is on, the ECU sends signals or pulses to the injector. Now these open and close the injector and allow fuel flow into the motor. The ECU can be programmed to open and close the injector to supply this fuel for a variety of different conditions, including idle, part throttle, and wide open throttle. When the factory designs these systems, they design it with enough fuel for the factory power offload, plus a little safety mark. But what happens when you make major modifications, like cylinder heads, camshaft, or intake manifolds? Or what about boost? That's when you need an injector upgrade. Now that we understand how injectors work, Let's take a look at a little injector math. One of the most common questions we get is, what size injector do I need from a given power output? And while the math is a little complicated and involves brake specific fuel consumption, here's a little shortcut formula I like to use that works really well. If you take the flow rate of the injector, usually given in pounds per hour, and multiply it by 16, that'll tell you how much power those injectors will support on a typical V8. As an example, if we take 50 pound an hour injectors, multiply it by 16, we see that those injectors on a V8 will support 800 horsepower. But remember, this only works on naturally aspirated motors because boosted motors require even more fuel. To illustrate the importance of injector sizing, we ran the following test. We installed a 5.3 liter up on the dyno. Now our 5.3 liter featured a healthy comp cam, a fast manifold, and a centrifugal supercharger. Originally, we equipped the 5.3 with a set of factory LS3 injectors, but those proved to be too small. If you take a look at the air fuel curve, you can see, equipped with those factory injectors, the motor leaned out, dangerously so. Our only option was to either A, up the fuel pressure, or the best option, replace those fuel injectors. So out came the LS3 injectors, and in went a set of 75 pounders from FAST. Equipped with those FAST injectors, our modified 5.3 liter produced 665 horsepower at just eight pounds. But more importantly, it produced a nice, safe, steady air fuel curve. So it just goes to show you what happens when you supply the right amount of fuel for the intended power output. I'm Richard Holdner. I want to thank the guys at FAST. Join me next time on Speed Secrets. <laughs>